goddess Newt. She is a very powerful mother goddess and was actually the mother of a lot of major Egyptian goddesses and gods. Anyhow, here is her um, hieroglyphics, titles, alternative names and spellings, and symbols. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me, with the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me, I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's embrace. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's grace. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me, with the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's embrace. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's grace. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's embrace. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's grace. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's embrace. I invoke the protection of Divine Mother's grace. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. With the arms of the Great Mother ever surround me. Goddess Newt. Um, as I said, she is the mother of the gods. She is um, the goddess that actually was the mother of the major. I mean, major Egyptian gods and goddesses. Um, we will get to them later. There is a lot of story about Goddess Newt that kind of goes with God Geb, um, which we will discuss later. Anyhow, she is the Goddess of Night, Reincarnation, and Weather. That being that she is also called the Star Goddess, which was not listed in the titles, which I forgot to put. Um, she is um, always seen as blue most of the time, and mainly all her pictures are shown of her stretching over Geb with, um, I forgot his name, standing in between them. The love, um, for each other was so strong that they weren't opposed to be together. Um, I can't remember the story exactly, but I will list a link of that story below. Um, anyhow, her sacred animals, she had five sacred animals. They were bulls, cows, eagles, Peacocks, pigs. Unfortunately, um, I don't know a lot about this goddess, so that's why I'm going to give you more links, the stories and stuff of her. Um, but I know that she has been around for a very long time, and me personally, I would call her the original Muddle Goddess. There is a couple Muddle Goddesses that we've known of and have gone through, but she to me would be the original Muddle Goddess. Um, her sacred color, of course, being blue. Her being, you know, Sky Goddess and always has stars on her. Um, and her sacred stones which is Lapis and Turquoise. And the Lapis Stone, as you saw, has crystals on it, like blue crystals and stuff, which is kind of cool, which is why that would be a sacred stone to her. Um, her sacred plant is a sycamore, And her mother 
was Tefnut. And her father was Sue. Now, her husband that I said was Geb, and he was called Father of the Gods. Now, the story goes with all this mainly um, when Newt wanted children. Ra was a very jealous god, um, according to Egyptian um, history. And he did not, not really jealous, but I mean that like, he was scared kind of of how powerful Newt is. And he didn't really want her to have kids. And kind of had like a ban on it somehow for her not to have children. As I said, there will be links of the stories and stuff. If I'm not getting it com completely correct, I apologize. And this, and um, what happened was eventually, um, Ra was going to give some of his power over to Thor. Thoth, I mean. And Thoth granted um, Newt um, children said okay I will give you five children on the first day her first child was Osiris her second child was Horus the Elder her third child was God Set her fourth child was God goddess Isis and her last and fifth child was goddess Nephthys so those right there are very powerful gods and goddesses Osiris and Isis coming together being mates um, husband and wife and um, Set as we know is a very powerful powerful god and a very jealous god that we talked about now horse the elder is not what you think of horse it is not horse it is a very ancient um, god not very m much talked about but people confuse him with horse I mean personally I do not believe it is the horse that my personal god horse is that I did um, and we know that Nephethys actually married Set. So it's kind of interesting that her kids, um, Horus got together with Isis, and Nethesis got together with Set. <laughs> it's like, okay, my children really loved each other. I don't want to speak negative about the gods and goddesses, so I'm just saying. Back then they didn't see anything uh, wrong with it. And actually a little story that I forgot to tell you before, I don't about Nephethys when I did her is that Nephethys um, had Anubis but it wasn't to Set it was to Osiris she got Osiris uh, tricked Osiris to sleep with her to have a child because Set didn't Set could not have children because of the battle between him and Horus where Horus where he removed Horus's uh, left eye and then Horus in return um, basically made him fertile. We moved his uh, nuts. Uh, so that was uh, a very powerful event. So you can imagine the family reunions. Holy hell. Well, anyhow, um, that's about all I have for Goddess Newt. I'm sorry if I don't have a lot of information again, but I will list some links. Anyhow, this has been Rainbow Pagan, and may you have a blessed week.